specialists to go along with it. It's because I think we're going down the wrong road in health. And I'll explain this further. The second reason why I put this presentation together for you today is that I don't want you to go missing out on the wellness movement that is gaining momentum. On the one hand, as science and medicine, health and technology advances, we are becoming a society of specialists while missing out on the whole picture of the person uh, with the problem. Medicine, acute medicine, is good at taking care of the problem at hand, but often skips taking care of the person that has the problem. I want to show you today what whole, whole person healthcare looks like. And the third reason that I'm is for this presentation is that I'm concerned at the lack of long-range thinking and planning when it comes to taking care of our society, particularly healthcare. I am very aware of how difficult it is to live healthy or even try to regain your health when it comes to lost it. I am concerned about my kids and the health of the next generation. Do you realize that the health of this next generation has been determined to be unhealthier than their parents for the first time in history. For the first time, it's never happened before. Dementia and Alzheimer's disease are far too common in a progressive society like ours. Obesity is predicted to involve one out of three people this next decade. Who's gonna take care of all these unhealthy people? I'm going to offer you some solutions for you today. They may be different than what you've heard, but they will make common sense to you. So those are the three reasons why I'm here. I observe people. I notice what they eat. Have you ever been in a grocery store and see what people put in their carts? Or have you been to a local school cafeteria and see what they feed their kids? problem is we've been trained into thinking that what's available is what's good for us. Do you know they made, they invented chicken nuggets to sell parts of the chicken that they couldn't sell? Life goes on. I had a difficult time deciding what I should tell you about. You should know about excitotoxins and how much damage sugar-free products do to your brain. Please stop drinking sodas. Stop it. Do you know aspartame has been renamed and is now being marketed as a natural sweetener? Aspartame is an excitotoxin. We should talk about this sometime. I should tell you about the dangers of genetically modified foods and how the United States grows more GMOs, genetically modified organisms, than any other country in the world while they are banned in most. We'll talk about this a little today. We should talk about how many vaccines our children are supposed to get and how it affects their delicate immune systems and nervous systems. We should talk about things that you can do right now to avoid dementia and memory problems, but we don't have that much time. We need time to be on our side. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to talk about some general health problems and some simple things you can do today. Then I'm going to talk about gluten and the physiology of gastrointestinal health. And finally, I'm going to offer you some practical advice, all in one fast hour. Are you ready? Yeah.